Welcome back to another episode of Am The Week, and today it's the Shark Week special. We'll be looking at the horn shark for this special episode. These sharks are actually some of the cutest looking sharks out there, but they are still a decent size at a meter in length. They are a member of a very small order, Heterodonitiforms, making them a species of bullhead shark. There are only eight other species of bullhead shark, but all have the characteristic blunt head with ridges around their eyes. Though these sharks may look similar to species of dogfish, they are actually unrelated, as they are not squaliforms. Horn sharks are found in only one specific area of the world, the west coast of America from central California down to the very tip of the Baja Peninsula. They enjoy the subtropical waters of this region and the Mediterranean climate. They require rather warm water of 20 degrees, and so keep to the shallows. They can be found as deep as 150 meters, but more commonly found at 2 to 11 meters in depth. But that's mainly just because that's where humans go and see them. Interestingly, the different age groups prefer wildly different sea floor landscapes. Younger individuals live in the deeper water from 40 to 150 meters down, and prefer sandy open seabed. As they age, they move towards the shallows and the rocky reefs near the coastline. This is actually a great behavioural adaptation for the species, as the younger members don't have as much competition when hunting and growing in the more open ocean, and the more elderly members, who may be slower, can hide in the rocks and caves of the shallows. These sharks are excellent hunters, and actually have the strongest bite force to body size ratio of any shark on the planet. This comes in handy as their primary prey are hard-shelled mollusks and sea urchins. Their teeth are highly specialised for this type of prey, and look very bizarre. They have the rough patches of sharp teeth at the front, able to latch onto anything, and then wide flat molars to crush through shells at the back. They primarily use a buccal pump system to suck in their prey and crush them between their teeth. Adult's favourite prey is the purple sea urchin, which is why you may see some horn sharks with their teeth and fins stained purple. Unlike some more famous species of shark like the great white, these sharks are oviparous, not ovoviviparous, meaning they lay their eggs in the environment around them. Their eggs are also perfectly adapted to this. They are laid in crevices 24 per season, and are shaped almost like a drill bit, allowing them to fit in crevices easily. They are one of few shark species to display any sort of parental care, however it is still limited as all they do is pick up their eggs to especially wedge them into crevices, but hey that's more than most sharks do. The mating process is another use for their strange teeth, as the males will use them to latch onto females' dorsal fins, and then use their claspers to copulate with the females' cloaca. This process lasts 30 to 40 minutes. The eggs require shallow warm water as colder water will delay the development of the embryos. 2 to 12 meters in depth does well, and the eggs will take 6 to 10 months to hatch. Horn sharks possess comparatively few ampullae lorenzini, the electroreceptors used for sensing prey by the shark. They possess only 148 compared to the average of around 2000. Instead they have even better than normal sensors of smell, and rely on that for hunting. It's unknown why they have so few, but it could be due to the nature of their prey. The mollusks they eat are largely stationary, and so they don't need very sensitive electroreceptors to track prey over large distances. Ampullae of Lorenzini rely on detecting the electromagnetic field produced by the movement of decent sized animals, so pretty useless if you have to hunt a sea urchin. These sharks are generally docile, but will attack humans if provoked, and some are rather zealous individuals and have been known to chase down divers after they have moved off. If encountered, try not to annoy them, as though they're not deadly, the spines on the tip of their fins are very painful, and their incredible bite force can be very, very painful indeed. These sharks are actually great at living in captivity, as they only have small ranges. One was famously stolen from the San Antonio Aquarium in 2018. Miss Helen, a resident of the aquarium's touch pool, was stolen by three men who hid her in a tank under a baby's pram. She was quickly rescued and the men were arrested. Horn sharks aren't fished, and only get killed by accidental bycatch, however some divers have been known to target them, to make jewellery out of their spines. In the wild they are eaten by a number of things, including elephant seals of the area, and some have been known to be plucked out of the water by bald eagles. Thank you for watching this Shark Week episode, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you'd like to learn more about our world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it, and if you'd like to see more from us.